So we're going to build three copies of uh, the platform sub-assembly and each one's going to be built exactly the same way. So we need three of these uh, D platform pieces. For each of these pieces we need four of the 18 millimeter pegs and we also need one of these little nut holder pieces uh, which is labelled DA and this is the M4 version of this so for it's, an, it's for an M4 nut. And the way we're going to assemble all three of these is as we did with the foundation, four pegs in each one and then on this rightmost one we're going to insert the little M4 nut holder and this fits into this recess here and aligns with the the small hole in the middle of it. So this should be a fairly tight fit but not, not too difficult. Oops, the pens have fallen out. And it should just hold there like that. Then simply push these together and that's the sub-assembly built. So we're going to make three like that. So three identical sub-assemblies, just quadrants of the platform that we're building, each with the little nut holder for an M4 nut to sit in the top of each one. The fourth quadrant is very similar except instead of two of these D pieces you're going to use one of these E pieces. This is basically two joined together and has um, some different pieces on it which is where the, the drive system for the, the platform is going to go. So we're going to attach the motor in here, the gears and also the, the drive shaft to drive the platform left and right around the telescope. The other thing that you need to do with this piece is in this slot here, if you can see it, uh, in the, the front of it, you need to actually insert a similar nut holder. This is for an M5 nut and you need to place a small M5 nut in the hole before you push this home and push it tight into place so that the nut inside should align with that hole there so that you can, later on, we can actually secure things to this piece without having to reach back inside quite a fiddly platform um, because we know that the nut is already captive and held inside the piece. So that's the two brackets attached to the side of it there. The next job then, and, and this is where you're going to need your buddy to help you, is we have to carefully lift this onto the foundation piece and secure it again with the recessed M4 bolts and the little M4 nuts in here. So these should align with the holes on the inner ring of the, the bearing, of the Lazy Susan bearing that we're using. So here's the foundation piece and we're going to align or place this on top but what we have to do is this drive shaft here for the drive wheel has to go through this hole here, that's important. So with somebody's help ideally just drop the drive shaft through that hole and then align the whole platform sitting on top of the inner ring of the Lazy Susan bearing. You may need to just move the bearing round a bit so that you find the attachment holes and then with the same bolts that we use to attach the, the bearing to the, the foundation we're going to attach the platform this time with the, the bolt coming through from the bottom and then the, the nut for it will sit in these little M4 nut holders here.
So once everything is then attached, you should start to get a feel for how the mechanism is going to work. You can see if I rotate the shaft on the drive wheel, the platform starts to move left and right. So the next thing to do is just to make, start to give some support um, so that the drive wheel holds itself in position against the gears. To do that, um, if you're using an M6 shaft, you want one of these little RC bearings with the, the M6 bore and that will just push fit into that recess there. And that starts to hold the gear a bit more firmly in place.